everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today I am going to be doing a foundation review, but before we jump into it, if you're new here, my name is Anushka. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And also I'm going to do my post notification shout out today. So today's post notification shout out goes to Ellen Anjali. Thank you so much for your sweet comment. And if you guys want to get one um, next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then comment in the comments below when you've done so. Anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Can't Stop, Won't Stop, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I'm going to be reviewing the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation by NYX or NYX, however you guys say it. I hear people say it different ways every time. But I've been dying to try this. I'm very, very lucky to have received a PR box for this. And I want to know what my shade is because I actually bought the foundation initially and I got the shade Golden. But I don't think that's my shade. Like, it was way too yellow. So, yeah. Today we're going to find out my exact shade. I'm, shade. I'm going to be swatching a few on my um cheek and yeah we'll see which one i am and see if this is good for my skin type by the way just for reference i will list down other shades i'm in in other brands and you know other foundations i use that are a good match for me and also i have dry combination skin most of the time dry so it'll be interesting to see how this foundation works because it's a full coverage matte foundation here are all the shades they have a ton and they killed it with the shade range, like, honestly. They have a, I think this was in collabor collaboration with Alyssa Ashley, which is a really, really cool YouTuber I love. And I love watching her videos and her creativity. She's so good with cameras as well. Like, she takes these amazing pictures. Okay, so just reading off the NYX website, it does say this foundation is lightweight, waterproof, and pigmented air. Okay, NYX, okay. Our new Can't Stop, Won't Stop full coverage foundation hustles as hard as you do. This comfy liquid formula comes in 45. 45, people, 45. Flattering tones that don't transfer. Every creamy shade glides on smooth, delivering matte coverage and colour that stay stays true for up to 24 hours. It's suitable for normal oily combination and sensitive skin type. So it doesn't say dry. So we're going to see how this is going to work. My skin is so dry around my nose, like honestly. I did get like a little sponge with this um, PR package. So we might as well try it with the foundation. It's got a weird shape. It's very peculiar. But let's wet it and see if it's soft. But the sponge got massive. It's like doubled in size. It does feel a bit hard compared to what I'm used to with my beauty blender, but I'm still going to try it with the foundation. Like, my beauty blender is soft, whilst this, I have to put a bit more, you know, strength to kind of squeeze it. Let's just jump straight onto swatching and finding my shade. So, I'm going to start off with Golden. Golden is number... Um, 13. That's actually not bad, though. That's not bad. I actually am quite good at choosing my shade online if I do tests on myself. This is caramel. Caramel is actually quite good in terms of like the tone. Caramel, I have this colour wheel, which is so helpful by the way, but anyways, it says caramel is a neutral undertone and I think that's why I like it better whilst golden it's a good colour but you know like caramel's disappearing into my skin whilst golden I can see it because it's very warm which is not a bad thing I mean foundations especially drugstore ones always lack a warmer shade so it's really nice to see that there's a good variety of you know tones available but I wanted to try cinnamon as well cinnamon is 15.5 Caramel is the one that's, you know, disappearing. But we're going to try it all over and we'll see. If not, we'll change the colour. In winter, it's so weird. I go so pale. It's a bit annoying, to be honest. I'm sorry I don't like the sponge. The sponge is a no-no for me. I'm sorry, Nyx, but I have to be honest here. So I'm going to go use my, my beauty blender. That was 
Oh my god, I don't know what that was, but anyways. It's a little bit pale. I'm gonna try golden honey, which is 14. But golden honey looks, oh no, 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 no. That's like orange. I'm just trying cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon seems to go better because that is looking very ashy. Gosh, when there's so many shades, it is a bit more of a challenge to find your shade, but I don't mind. I think that's much better. Because um, it was go going very ashy around my mouth, but this looks good. To be honest, I usually use my sponge to blend my foundation and it's actually blending really nicely with um, my beauty blender, which is a thumbs up. Okay, so far so good. I'm happy with the shade, the way it's sitting on my skin. It feels a little bit like it's literally dried down already and it feels, it feels a bit weird for me, but it looks good, you know, um, but it definitely feels more drier than my typical foundation. I like to go for really dewy foundations i'm just gonna do the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back to let you know what i think overall of the foundation upon first impression all right guys i now finished my makeup and honestly i'm loving the way this foundation looks like it just looks so flawless the only thing is i feel like when i wear like matte foundations it makes my skin look really textured but that's just the way my skin is but on camera obviously it looks amazing but yeah that's how i feel like my skin's super textured at the moment i don't know if it's the stress or the eating I've been eating terrible lately um but i'm very happy with the color so cinnamon is definitely a shade i really really do like and cinnamon is more on the warm side um on the spectrum so yeah i'm definitely happy with cinnamon just to compare it like i really do love my fenty uh foundation but it is a bit uh, dark for me at the moment so this is fenty and this is cinnamon and cinnamon is actually a perfect shade for me right now like look at that swatch on my hand like when you blend into my hand like it literally does disappear but fenty is very very warm but i still you know love it it's a really nice foundation i'm kind of like an nc43 mac so yeah just for reference i really do like it and i did look outside and it looked really really good um, everything blended perfectly on it. it. It does set like you don't even need powder with this. Like if you have dry skin, you don't need powder. Honestly, like it's very, very dry. <laughs> so if you have very fakey dry skin, maybe this foundation is not for you. But I can understand how this is good for oily skin because it literally dried down so quick. But it's really easy to blend at the same time. Um, it feels very comfortable. Evened out my complexion. It didn't go ashy anywhere. It's not patchy. I don't know. Overall, I really do like the way this foundation looks. So it's now around one o'clock. I'm going to be back later on this evening because I'm going out now for my friend's birthday. I do have to give a lot of praise to NYX or NYX um, for coming out with so many shades because you know I stand for that. And a drugstore brand managed to do such a big range and I feel like every brand should be pushing for this. So I think they, I, I mean, they've done such a good job with the shade, so. And it's good that they've worked on the influencer because they an influencer kind of knows as kind of like a makeup artist and, you know, someone that does videos and gets comments and receives feedback. You kind of know what people are looking for and what people want. So it's nice to have such so many tones and so many shades available for everyone and no one's left out. And I think that's amazing. So, yeah, we'll see how this holds up. I'm really happy with it, you know, I'm quite surprised. I might have to get the full size, but we'll see how this looks later on. If this does dry me out, um, that I'm really interested to see what it will do. But anyways, I'll be back later on and we'll see how this looks. Guys, I am back. It's probably around like 10.30 now. I just got home and whoa, do I have a good headache right now, but that's okay. Um, I do have to say I'm really really happy with the foundation like it's been almost 12 hours that I've had this on and it it just looks really it still looks really good I am peeling around my nose I did say I was really dry there <laughs> 
there is a little bit of gathering around my smile lines but everywhere else it looks pretty good the only thing I have to say is I look a little bit shiny there but you know I don't mind that it looks like a natural glow like it doesn't look sweaty I'm actually quite surprised by this foundation like I'm definitely going to be using it a lot and I'm definitely going to be getting the full size in this because it was so easy to blend so easy to use and it didn't really dry me out that much and I'm not too bothered by the smile lines like I felt good wearing this foundation and I feel like when you feel good and you don't have to look at yourself 10 times in a, in, in a day like to you know check your makeup I think you know it's a good foundation it feels really comfortable as well at first it felt a bit dry but you know it's quite nice and it doesn't really transfer whatsoever compared to my other foundations because obviously I use more of like a dewy one here's a little close-up see that peeling I'm super dry here but then everywhere else looks okay. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna give this foundation a 10 out of 10. On my first impression, I don't really care about this flaking because I know this is only temporary. I love how it just controlled my skin, made it look really flawless. The smile lines, I'm not too bothered about because it's not like that bad considering I've worn this almost 12 hours and yeah it hasn't faded off anywhere else apart on the apart from on the tip of my nose i the price is amazing i think i got it for the other i thought i think i bought one for like 15 pounds i think so yeah the price is amazing the color range is amazing the packaging is good it comes with a pump a glass bottle it's just it's just all around a good foundation guys like i'm very very pleased with this i thought i wouldn't go i wasn't gonna like it because of the matte thing but it's actually really beautiful so yeah if you guys have any questions about the foundation let me know give this video a big thumbs up if you found this review helpful and if you want more in the future and let me know what other products you want to see so yeah i love you guys and i will see you in my next one bye i'm gonna go take a nap now